Hey guys, it's Bob back again, and today we're going to look at Star Wars The Force Awakens X-Wing Pilot Asti. Now this is from the 3 and 3 quarter inch line, and I'm not really collecting a whole lot of them, but there's a reason why I had to pick him up, and I'll tell you that here in a minute. Anyway, here's a quick look at the packaging. You got a window box. You can see that there is this gimmick that they're doing that you buy three figures and you can actually combine the pieces and build a little like gun sled looking thing. Anyway, so here you got a picture of Asti right there. Very cool. X-Wing pilot gear. He's got the the white and the orange flight suit, which is really cool. Quick look at his face. I'm not really for sure what alien species he is. He might be a new one. Who knows? Uh, there's writing on his helmet. I'll get to that in a second. Anyway, we'll flip that over and look at the back. In this wave, you get Asti, you get a snow trooper and a storm trooper. And when you get those pieces, they collect, you can collect the pieces and build this weapon sled thing and you can kind of see Asti can wear pieces of them anyway. So anyway, so there you got, babies don't like the number zero to three and that's it for the packaging. There is a quick bio here, let me, let me raise this up real quick and you can get, uh, the bio, I don't even know if you can read it. I'm failing at this here. It's so teeny tiny. There you can kind of read it. It says, Elio, Elio Asti is a skilled if, is a skilled if professional reckless X-Wing starfighter pilot for the resistance. Okay. So there you go. There's a quick little bio and that's it. Anyway, uh, he is from Disney and Hasbro and all the warnings. So, that could go to, you, to the abyss. Inside the package, you get this readout little schematic thing of each of the figures. Asti comes with the flight thing, the stormtrooper, the snow trooper has these two things, and the stormtrooper has that, and the snow trooper has that. Anyway, and it just shows you how to combine it, which I will never combine because I'm not going to buy the other ones. So, yeah, what do you do? That could go over there. Anyway, we'll look at Asti here in one second. We'll look at his little uh, piece of the weapon thing. You can kind of see where it's going to be like snow skis. So I guess this is, you know, during a battle or something. I'm not sure if they go, they might go that way. Anyway, you know, snow skis is like on a snowmobile would go like that. Um, there is some detailing in this. You can kind of see some like intake and it looks like a booster there. Uh, that goes to the gimmick. Here in a minute, I'll show you the gimmick. Uh, but we'll get into Asti first. Now, Asti is a very special thing that J.J. Abrams is doing. The Force Awakens, and if you watch the remake of the Star War or Star Trek films, uh, you see young Captain Kirk at the very beginning of the one, and he's driving the car before he drives it off the cliff. There's a Beastie Boys song playing, and Beastie Boys is a band for you kids. Band back in the 80s and 90s, there were three white guys um, from New York that were rappers, and they were awesome. And in my generation, they were, and they just got better. I mean, they started just rapping, and then they started playing their own instruments. And some of the later albums were just instrumental songs, and they were awesome. Anyway, so um, Asti, there was a Beastie Boys album named Hello Nasty. Asti, they just took the N off of the nasty part, and you got Asti. Because J.J. Abrams is such a huge uh, Beastie Boys fan that he wanted to have this character for the Beastie Boys because Beastie Boys are so awesome. Anyway, so um, you got to look at Asti here. As you can see um, on the box itself, uh, let me pull out the abyss. It's hard, kind of hard to reach in there without getting bit by a creature. Um, you can see his eyes and stuff. They're see-through. On the figure, it's just painted yellow. On his helmet, but it's not that bad. I mean, there is some kind of like bleed through and stuff, but for a three and three quarter inch figure, um, the paint right there is really cool. If you could see that that marking on his helmet, J.J. Abrams has actually said in the language of Star Wars, it's a made up language, but that is actually translates to born to be ill, born to ill. Born to ill, ill communication, goes back to the Beastie Boys. Born to, born to ill is another Beastie Boys reference. So there's two in one. You got born to ill right there, and you got Asti, hello nasty. 
Anyway, okay, I'll get off the Beastie Boys. You guys get it. But um, he's really cool there. You got the uh, the symbol right there for the Rebellion. Uh, very cool details. His helmet. He does just have the five points of articulation. His head just does turn left and right. Um, his arms go 360. And his legs, you have to be careful with this one. Because as you see in his flight fighter pilot uniform, there is a hose that's connected to his leg. So it does come up like that. But you don't want to go back too far with it. Because if you look, this leg does go back and forward about that far. But this one will too, but you just don't want to because this hose only has so much stretch to it. It doesn't let the leg go back any further than that. But you can come up with it. You just got to be careful. You don't want to rip that part off. And it is molded into his leg there. Kind of pulled it into his leg. So you just want to be careful. The paint job is not that bad for actually a three and three quarter inch. There's some little bit of bleed through here and there. He does have a gun. Take a look at his little blaster right here. There's his little blaster painted silver, which is really cool because they actually painted it. It's not just gray. And as you can see, this is actually attached to his leg, the little holster part, but it fits in there just fine. And his arm can come down to the side, so he can kind of, you know, still, still no problem. He can hold it in both hands. Both of his hands are molded in that C shape, but you can kind of tell this this hand is more of a gun hand. And this one is just more of like a gripping C hand. C is one finger is for the trigger. So you can actually get his gun in there. And it just clips down in there, no problem. So he can't hold his weapon. Very cool. And the squirrels are going nuts again outside the shop. Anyway, so there you go. There is Esty, the X-Wing pilot from The Force Awakens. Very cool um, figure, very neat. Oh, wait, I forgot to tell you guys. There's this peg, the peg hole in the back, and his little weapon schematic looking, whatever you want to call it, Hasbro build a figure. It's almost like the Transformers uh, when they had the mech tech weapons. I threw those right in the trash. I never, with all my Transformer figures, I never kept mech tech weapons. I hated every minute of it. Um, anyway, it does plug into his back, and you can have the, the, the jet right there, and then the intake valves. And you can kind of get him to where he's flying. These rotate so you can get him, get him like he's ready to take off. And you can have him flying on it like a backpack. Uh, I'll never display him like that. But it's a, it's a gimmick to get you to buy all three figures so you can build a weapon or whatever. It's just it's a ploy to get people to buy stuff. But like I said, I will never use this. This will never be seen probably ever again because it might just go to the abyss. Oh, it's in. Okay, so it's gone forever. Anyway, so there is Asti, the uh, Force Awakens um, Rebellion pilot, X-Wing pilot. I'm looking forward to see what his character is in the movie, if he has like a speaking part, or if he's just like Wedge, you know, you see him in a couple shots and that's it. Um, so we'll we'll find out here in about uh, another month because it's November 20th, so yeah another month or so and we'll find out what he is actually like so I want to thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and please subscribe to my channel and share this video with all your friends and we'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching and have a great day